Hi everyone. First of all, I would like to thank you all who subscribe to my channel. Thousand thanks for that, it is really appreciated. If you want more Upsheet Workshop videos, please continue to support me. Subscribe, like, and share my channel with your family and friends. Thank you very much. Last few days, I received some comments from few subscribers who asked about how to build the printing function in Upsheet. So today, let's explore the direct printing function from Upsheet. To demonstrate the printing function, I have built up a simple app. This app is designed for staff registration and then printing the staff identity card. It is really a simple app, let's see how it works. In the main screen, we have a registered staff list. By clicking the print button, a print job will be sent to the connected printer. Before we check out the configuration in Upsheet, we need to sign up for an account and download client software from PrintNode. Let's run a web browser and access to PrintNode official website. And then sign up for an account. Then download the client software and install it into the PC that is connected to your printer. Once everything is done, then you may log into your PrintNote account. You will see your connected printer and the print job list. Like this. Once PrintNode setup is completed, then we may start to work in Upsheet. Let's have a quick go through for the data column setting. In this app, we just have one table, with columns, staff ID, name, department, image, and print count. This print count column is designed for us to trigger the printing event later. Alright, let's proceed to the user interface. Set the staff master view as shown on the screen. And lastly, add the print to cloud printer actions. This action is added in the behavior section. Let's check out the setting. Create and set the action as shown on the screen. This action is increasing the print column value by 1. When this value changed, it will trigger the cloud printing bot later. Let's proceed with the bot configuration under automation. First, create an event with a setting that is shown on the screen. In the condition, set as print count column value is changed. Then, set the data changes type as updates only. The event is ready. Next, we need to create two tasks. The first task is the generate printing content. The generate printing content task is handling PDF file creation. This is the PDF file template. Next, let the file store and file folder path as default. Set the file name prefix as staff ID. And lastly, turn on the disable timestamp option. 
Then set the page orientation as portrait and page size as A4. OK, done, let's proceed to the next task. The cloud printing task. Cloud printing task handling the print job by calling a webhook. Set the preset option as custom, insert the print note API URL. Set the HTTP verb as post, and the content type as JSON. And then set the body and headers. Click the task link, I will show the body and header content there. Everything is same as the setting just now. I would like to highlight here is the body and the HTTP header. We configure the print job in the body option, such as printer ID, which can be found in the client software installed on your PC. Get your printer ID and replace it here. Next, set the print job title. Then leave the content type as PDF URI. Lastly, the content. Replace the app name, table name and file name with your own setting. Next, the HTTP headers, keep the API key generated from our print note account. This is the keyword, you may replace your API key after the authorization basic. You may get the API key from your printout account. Gently remind, please convert the API key to base64 before you enter it in the HTTP header. After converted, paste the key here. Alright, workshop completed, don't forget to save your project. Let's test out the printing action. As we see, the print job is instantly sent to my printer. Alright, that's all for today. Hope you are enjoying this video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.